Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Trish. If you guys are new, thanks for stopping by. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. And if not, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to film this, you know, soft look. I was attempting to do like a you know, soft, half concrete, neutral look with a little bit of glitter. So that's what I did. And I really like the way it came out. Yeah, I really like the way it came out. Initially, initially, I didn't want to like, I wasn't gonna go for the glitter, but I went for it and you know, it's cute. So I went with it. Um, I hope you guys like the look. Do not forget to like, comment, or subscribe. Everything I use will be listed down in the description box. And I will see you guys in my next one. first shade I'm going to be starting off with is this shade called Butter from the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'll be using that as my transition. And now I'm taking buns from the same palette. I'm going to be putting that right below my transition. And now I'm going into the 39A palette from Morphe and I'm taking this shade called Mass. And I'll be putting that in my outer V. Now I'm taking this shade called Mocha. It's like a deeper brown shade and I'll be putting that in my outer V as well. Now I'll be taking this deeper brown shade called Chip and I'll be using that in my outer V as well to further intensify that outer V. And now I'm just cutting my crease with my other girl pro concealer in the color porcelain. And now I'm mixing mocha and chip, and I'll be putting that in the outer um, areas of my eyelid, just further so it can blend into my crease. Creating like a natural ombre effect. And I'm taking buns, and I'll be putting that to like the mid to inner portions of my eyelid. And now I'm taking this shade called Sunder from the 39A palette from Morphe and I'll be putting that on the remaining portions of my eye area. And now I'm taking this shade called Faint and I'll be using that as my brow bone highlight. So I went ahead and did my liner off camera. Now I'm just taking this gold glitter from Ruby Kisses. It does not have a name and I'll just be using that to outline the wing portion of, of my eyeliner. Just to give it like an extra glam look. And now I'm just give, taking this J-Cast glitter. It does not have a name to it as well. It's just a gold glitter and I'm just using that to make my gold glitter a little bit more vibrant. I went ahead and did my base off camera. I'm taking faint again and I'm popping that in my inner tilic area. I also went ahead and applied my lashes off camera. I'm just trying a new thing where I'm just doing my, kind of like just doing most of my eyes on camera and just doing my base off camera. If you guys would like to just see my base in my videos, just let me know and I will make sure to include that. And now I'm just taking my L'Oreal Close Scopic Mascara and my Benefit Bad Gal Mascara and I'll just be putting those on my top and bottom lashes.
And now I'm taking my MAC blush in the color Raisin and I'll just be putting it on the apples on my cheek. And now I'll be spraying my face with my Mario Badescu setting spray and I'll be taking my Artist Couture highlighter in the color Conceited and I'll just be highlighting my face with that. And now for my lip combination, I'm just taking my J-Cat's lip liner in the color dark brown. And I will be using my ColourPop liquid matte lipstick in the color Beeper and Chi. I'll be putting Chi on the middle, the middle portion of my lid, on my, um, I'm sorry, my lips. Thank you guys for tuning in for yet another video. Everything I use will be listed down in the description box. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and to like, comment, or subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next one.